All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Golgari troll. We got my dog puppy decided to come and join us. She's really camera shy, <laughs> the puppy. She's pretty camera shy, but um, she's gonna join us here for a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're bringing back Troll Gari. If you remember us playing this deck uh, right right away, uh, whenever I think just the very first day of Throne of Eldraine during our 12 hour stream, yeah, that, that's whenever we played this deck, and we did really well with it then. We're gonna try it again now. We'll see see how it holds up. Um, but of course, the reason like the reason why we built this deck is to play Clackbridge Troll. This awesome 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> Puffy, where are you going? Let's see if we can get this. There we go. Uh, this 5-mana 8-8 eight, eight, uh, Trampler. There's there's the troll. Um, and, uh, yeah, this card's just really cool. And wanted to play this this card, wanted to put it into a deck, and so, you know, just put it with other really good Throne of Eldrain cards like Questing Beast and Murderous Rider um, and Garrick and the Great Henge and everything and just, just kind of put it put those all those uh cards together because <clears throat> they're all just really good quality cards um and the, the clack bridge troll worked out pretty well so you know like we just give our opponent some goats they would sack the goats and we would gain three life draw a card and so we just gain three life draw a card every turn and it worked out um you know pretty well because that that just allowed us to outgrind um opponents so we're going to try it again. We'll see how it does. You know, we changed just a couple of things up with the deck. You know, got some Ashiox in the sideboard. That card's really important these days um, and everything. But, uh, yeah, we're, let's go play some more matches with Trollgari. And, yeah, this is, my dog's name is Puppy. That's her name. Um, she's a Shiba Inu. That's, that's um kind of dog the puppy is yeah yep the jund sacrifice deck is uploaded on youtube and and you can find the deck on stream decker as well and everything grixis midrange is up on youtube also team or adventure is, is now is loading right now but it'll, it'll be up later all right what do we got? Okay, okay. Not the fastest hand. Hawkeye's actually munching on some food right now behind us. But yeah, that's why, I think that's why Puppy is, is usually kind of scared here because she's not usually ever let in, like she doesn't, she can't usually ever be in this room at all, because um, this is Hawkeye's room, except for sometimes I'll bring Puppy on stream like this, and so then she's all shy. She's not usually this shy at all, any other place except for, like, right here. She's usually just, like, full of energy and jumping around everywhere. But she's camera shy. So I still have Murderous Rider available, even with playing the Temple. Or Swift End, I guess. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. And absolutely true. I grace you with my lack of presence. One by uh, I'm not... And all yeah, I'm not a huge fan of... of of spawn of mayhem for the grixis midrange list um because you know like it's it's a it's a pretty good aggressive card but it's it's re it's really not a card you want to play anything but aggressively because of um you know because it makes you like lose life and everything like that and it's it's kind of hard to turn on the spectacle in that deck so it's usually going to cost four mana Beyond to 
Vision. The Orion with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Orion. Thank you so much there. So I, I wanted to tick up and not tick down to kill... Like, I wanted to play Ugin. And I didn't want to kill the Risen Reef because if I tick down and kill Risen Reef, then if they had Nissa in hand, they could have Nissa kill Ugin. And so I was worried about that. Your quest is futile. The troll. Hmm. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm saving this finality, of course. Clack Bridge Troll. Would you like to pay? The troll toll. Need to sacrifice a billy goat to the troll. So I don't think the witch sweeper is very good. I don't think there's enough um, tribal synergies in the current metagame for the witch for witch's vengeance right now. It's a card that I think we'll see more play of the in, me. in the future if that changes, but I, I don't think right now that there's really a, a good enough reason to play Witch's Vengeance. Yeah, oh yeah, if you're just trying to play it to, to get rid of goats, it's definitely not worth it. Just play Legion's End. All right, puppy. <laughs> the goats, they have they have some boots. Goats and shoes. My opponent's all confused. They're taking so long. Yeah, earlier in the week on on Monday, um, I played a, a whole bunch of best of one decks for the win every for the win any card challenge, the win every card challenge. Um, so am I am I casting finality right now? Secrets manifest before you. Did I play a land? I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't get to play Nessa also. The big problem with waiting... The big problem with waiting is they could get more foods and then wicked wolf is a lot harder to deal with Yeah, you can go Ethereal Absolution with Crack Clack Bridge Troll. Keep it from being stopped. But honestly, like it, it being stopped is really not that bad of a thing. Yo, you get to gain three life draw card. Like that. That downside of them sacrificing a goat is really not much of a downside. I don't think you need to try to try anything janky to 
not let, let them get the goats. All right, puppy, you want to go back to the living room? Brazen borrower. All right. All right, fine. Hawkeye doesn't like puppy in here. All right. Say bye, puppy. Bye, everybody. Bye. Go back to the living room. Why do I seem to always grab puppy whenever I'm wearing a black shirt? That's not a not the best of ideas there. All right, brazen borrower bouncing my troll. Rangers. Yeah, I'm a big Rangers fan. Garrick. No, I can't cast Garrick this turn. I should have ticked up on the Overgrown Tomb. I could have cast Garrick. Ooh, more Garrick. More Garrick. Oh, you've lost a food plus Rampage of the Clans? Oh, I, I have not. I I have killed people with um, treasure tokens and Rampage of the Clans, like with... Um, uh, smothering Tithe. With Smothering Tithe. Okay. So they are in Oko. Whoops. Hey, okay. Meow. Yep, puppy's gone. So they're an Oko deck with Nissa and Wicked Weasel. The Wicked Weasel Wolf. Let's take out. No, I think we want Legion's End. I don't know if I want like this finale of Eternity. What do you think, Hawkeye? I kind of like all these cards. Like this is this is kind of a problem. I like everything in our deck. We could just we could go Ritual of Soot and just cut. I mean, the Incubation Druid like looked really nice.
just cut mana creatures, I guess. Like, Veil of Summer is going to be a problem from their side. Of course, Krasis drawing a bunch of cards. Really want um, Ritual of Soot, Finale, and Finality against Nissa Lands. Really want all of those. <laughs> Hawkeye's like, this is my stream. This is my stream. We do need lands. This hand doesn't really have lands. <laughs> Yay, Hawkeye stream. Yeah, I mean, we could... Yeah, Clackbridge is not great against. Hmm. I already have Finale. Clackbridge is not great against Oko. No. Yeah, Hawkeye's not as camera shy. Yeah, I, I could have just taken out the trolls. But, I mean, we're, we're not really playing this deck to take out trolls. That's not really why we're playing the deck, but I guess... I mean, I guess that could be a card to take out. So now I have that Soot, that Garrick, and like a whole bunch of lands down here. So do I want to shuffle all that away? I don't... All that back? I don't think so. So Finale is about toughness. So, you know, destroy three, up to three tar creatures with toughness X or less. So, like, this only has toughness one. So, like, Brazen Borrower is really easy to kill with Finale. I wouldn't mind if they played a, another creature that has toughness two or less. Like, if they played um, Risen Reef here, we, we could just kill the Borrower and the Risen Reef. Okay. I guess that's another reason to take out mana creatures, though, is these wicked wolves. Just kind of killing that before they get food. But obviously... Ooh, good. I was going to say, obviously, if they have Nissa, that could be bad for me. All right, what do we think? Do we think they have Veil of Summer for one of their last two cards? Hopefully not. Yay. Keep them from casting a big crisis. Well, a bigger crisis. I, oh, I was getting bored anyway. Not a great turn. <laughs> the troll. Eight eight trample haste. It's pretty hard. Everyone is expendable. 
Hmm. No, not Krasis. So they could do Krasis for f four, five right now. Whoops. Its loss will serve. Hmm. I guess I could have done that first. Um So, like, they play Big Krasis here. And I'll just Ritual of Soot afterwards. They go to 13 and hit him down to 5. Or hit him down to... Yeah, hit him down to 5. I guess they could have gone to 14. I could murderous rider the troll and then the brazen borrower is gone that's probably not worth it though as long as we win nothing else matters nah, I, don't... Okay, I don't want to sacrifice more lands They should have they they need to flip those because flipping those they would have they would have been able to put a card on top here with it and then draw it with the risen reef trigger and then do cavalier trigger like against open removal you got to do the risen reef first so that's lesson learned for those of y'all playing Risen Reef Cavalier decks later on in life. The Risen Reef. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Oh yeah, that that's true. Hipto last. I would just yeah, if, if they choose it first, never mind. Yeah, you just, I could just let the Risen Reef trigger happen first. Hmm. 
good call. I guess I should get off the soapbox. I know, the goats are cute. I agree. Yeah, we got to play Trollhenge that that previous turn. There's basically no reason to play Borrower right there. They're just letting me use my Vraska to kill Borrower now. If I so choose. Oh, I get, oh, bro Borrower blocks. Sorry. Never mind. That's that's the reason. Borrower blocks. Sorry. Okay, well, they didn't even want to block. I grow bored with this fight. Never mind, they didn't even want to block. Oh yeah, it only blocks flyers. Yeah, see, I thought it couldn't block at first, and then it, and then I was, you know, I thought it couldn't block, but then I was like, oh no, three three power can block, and then now, oh yeah, no, it can't block because it can't block flyers. So yeah, that's why I thought that was just an impatient use of the borrower. Okay, what you fighting? Fighting that thing? Of course, we have lots of life because the trolls. Hooray. Yeah, Lemon, you're good. I never mind uh, if y'all post links to like deck lists and stuff that y'all are talking about in chat and things like that. I, I don't mind. Trollgari. Trollgari. Yeah, basically, I don't think that playing a card like Ethereal Absolution to kill the goats immediately, I just don't think that that's really that important. I think I don't think that your opponent having goats is really much of a downside. Like, like sure, it kills the goats immediately, and you get to, you know, attack with it for eight and everything, but otherwise, you just gain three life and draw a card, and that's still pretty valuable. Hey Zeus, did oh did we just play against you, Zeus? So GG's. GG's. Okay. Play a turtle deck? What's a turtle deck? The turtle deck. Hello. Yeah, I play I play all sorts of different types of decks. So yeah, I definitely play is it decks sometimes? I'd say is it decks are probably the decks that I play the least amount of overall. I was really considering just playing the Murderous Rider here, just playing a 2 3 lifelinker, but we'll wait. But I was definitely thinking about just playing Murderous Rider as a 2 3. The land fights for us. Don't play Tor Bran. Don't play Raisin Bran. Don't 
So no brands. Low brand. <laughs> Thanks, Adisho. Yeah, this deck's a lot of fun. We get to troll some opponents. How rude. Yeah, I'll trade I'll trade my land for 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 shock and spitter. I think that's a perfectly reasonable trade and I'll I'll do that. I Hmm. Um, I guess I could shock. Yeah, sure. We can, we can shock. We're doing just fine. See, we just gain that life right back. I'll take three life a turn and an extra card a turn. I know. I, sure, I could get use. I, sure, I could use these and get rid of the the goats. We also just don't really need to. No, this is the deck I put together. Um, we played it the. I, I built it. We we played it the very first day, of the format and did well with it. And we're trying it again now. This is our second time to play it. Hey, Photon. Thanks. Yeah, it's, it's a fun one to play, too. You know, we, we built it basically because we just wanted to play Clackbridge Troll. That was, like, the main the main goal is to build a Clackbridge Troll deck. All right, trophy, trophy set. Um, I'm gonna take out finale. Finale is basically gonna be, well. I could play finale. <coughs> so like, what am, what am I really too? What am I really that scared of? What if I cut my mana creatures? Is this too slow? Probably. Okay, let's get rid of a Liliana and a Garrick and get some mana creatures back up in here. All right, let's try this. One Ceratops, three Druid. Yeah, that's true. The Mana Creature still can block one ones. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, fetching the forest was too much for the opponent. If I would have fetched a Swamp. Well, we played... Like, the Jun deck was basically just Rakdos. It had, like, two green cards. But it was just Rakdos, the Jun deck that we played earlier. Uh, Grixis was very Jund-like as well. Or sorry, so sorry, was very Rakdos-like as well. 
but yeah, I've I've played I played Rakdos Aggro also like two or two or three days ago. I think two days ago. We played a Rakdos control deck three or four days ago. The Rakdos control worked out pretty well. So yeah, I've I've been playing Rakdos decks. I I kinda play everything. I play four different decks a day. Here on stream. <clears throat> so I can my plan is to play Overgrown Tomb and Assassin's Trophy something next turn, and then the following turn go Forest Troll. I think Simic Flash is top tier and best of one. Not necessarily in best of three, but I think it is awesome in best of one before uh, people play <clears throat> their sideboard cards for it, like Veil of Summer and stuff like that. But I think it... I think it's a really good choice there. So yeah, I, I, I am yeah I'm streaming the event. Um, I'm playing Simic Wishes, but I think Simic Flash is probably a better deck to play. But I there's just a lot of people that don't really like Simic Flash very much, and so instead I am going with a deck more people or like. I'm going to go with just with a different deck. Cool, Nanus. Sounds good. Gain three life is nice. Tor brand is not nice. Gain three life is nice. Attack him with the goat. I should attack with that goat. Yeah, I'm playing it on stream tomorrow. Stop! Ugh, should have played Murderous Rider, held up trophy. Those are like my two options here. We're down to one. thing can attack for seven so that's 18 if this was an untapped land i could go nissa questing beast and attack with the land also Whatever. 
I think I'm gonna go just murderous rider and just you know basically if they have direct damage I lose but just hope they don't have direct damage like they have to have direct damage this turn otherwise they're very dead No, don't attack. No. Uh, darn it. They figured it out. So close. One more life. Shouldn't have attacked with the troll. Could have had the troll back and blocked. So close. So close. All right. Get the Ceratops out of here. Get this other Paradise Druid in. Wait. You, you come back. You go away again. So close. I guess if I would have just made two, you know, I, I made it so like we had a lot bigger life linker, but if I would have just made two blockers, I would not have died. Ooh. So once upon a time is a green source. So do I keep two land, Paradise Druid, Rider, and all this stuff? I kind of think so. But I didn't... Yeah, if I... I had to trophy the cavalcade because the cavalcade just killed me on attack. I'm going to do this first because if we get a tap land. There we go. Stop having that card. Why they always got that card on turn one? The red two four is named Torbran. I don't know the it's like Torbran, comma insert title here. I don't know what that title is though. Something about the fell. Thane of Red Fell. Yeah, that. I'm not sure if playing the rider here is correct, honestly. I'm skeptical. Now. 
Yeah, I could have their end of turn just. Yeah, I guess I should not have done, should not have played the rider because I could have just held up swift end and then the like you know like I take two damage here I go to six like with the scorch spitter attack they play spitfire, I swift end the spitfire and then this turn I get to just play the rider, and then our Vraska doesn't die, and then my paradise druid doesn't die. I would. Much rather them kill that than Paradise Druid, but. Alright, come on, draw Greenland. 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 So the good news is they only have two cards. Bad news, I don't have. Really, anything to stop Torbran right now? I think I keep trophy for like Torbran. Or something else. Um, obviously, drawing a land would have been nice just to be able to do X is 3 and kill the Spitfire also, but... Alright, time to troll our opponent. Gain three life draw card is a pretty good card against, you know, just every turn gain three life draw card. That's pretty good against red. Goats. All right, we 2-0. Well, Cavalcade is just whenever you attack with one, right? Not one or less. Does like do the goats trigger cavalcade? It's one or less. Oh well, it's one or less. So maybe I shouldn't have played. Nah, I should always play the troll. Just always play the troll. The goats trigger the cavalcade. <laughs> yeah, so I guess don't play troll into Torben cavalcade on board. <laughs> yeah, or Spitfire cavalcade. Don't don't do that. So we're going to once upon a time look for a mana creature for turn two. Hello. I've taken the Fable Passage because I liked those cards that we were putting down to the bottom and wanted to be able to shuffle those back, especially like the finale and everything. But Trophy is probably pretty good here too, so I wanted to shuffle those back, so I've taken the Fable Passage. Stormfist Crusader. I'm not sure which one uh, 
Hey, what's up, Joseph? Um, I'm not sure which one I really want to get here. Hey, there's our sub goal. Our 10th sub of the day. Get into our sub goal. Thank you so much there, Joseph. Um, I guess I want to kill the Crusader. I don't really need extra cards. I have a good hand for like the next few turns for the most part. I don't really want to let my opponent draw more cards. Yeah, the, the storm count is off of one. I don't know really why, but it is. Like our first sub, it said two and so on. So yeah, like the, the storm count was just off one. Questing Beast. Questing Beast is like unblockable because you never see it actually attack. There's like that animation is always just going on and you never actually get to see that it attacks. It's be a good time for a Legion's End. Oh, I thought that was Legion's End. Hmm. The one problem with playing Troll here is that I may not have six mana for these things next turn. Like that's, that's the problem with playing the Troll here. I probably will. So if we draw a couple of cards. Yeah, that's not a bad idea there, Trin. My opponent doing playing so many things. Stop playing so many things. Ugh. Another temple. Well, I thought with the three cards that we'd have that we'd would have had something else. So they could draw a lot of cards with Midnight Reaper. And they activated the correct one. It's either Garrick make two creatures. Or just play the two murderous riders. And have two lifelinkers. It's Garrick make the two creatures. Finality. I mean, there's not really a difference between finality and... 
make two blockers. I mean, it, it kills just the knight and the reaper, and they draw two. Like, you know, obviously killing the goat doesn't really matter. Well, we would have taken... This would have been lethal for sure if we would have... If we would have finality, this would have been lethal. It's lethal with removal spell, though. So the reason why I did it this way, though, is because if, if we do get to, to chump with these two wolves, and if we don't die, like, that's that's kind of what they needed to, to win there, is they needed, um, you know, removal spell plus another flash threat there. Um... If we would have survived there, you know, like, Garrick would have grown, because both of those... So we would have been able to minus six Garrick, have our creatures get plus three, plus three, and trample, and then the next turn I was going to be able to play the double Murderous Rider as five, six lifelinks. So I, I liked our shot there if we got to untap. But we did not get to untap. Um, we'll take out a druid. No, finality did not uh, make them sacrifice anything, no. No. Because the creatures get minus four, minus four, and everything, too. So, like, my, my troll would have been... Uh, no, and like, and you can, you can only sack goats anyway. You can't sack knight like knight of the Evan Legion. That doesn't no. So it just doesn't work that way. That is true. They just need flash removal. They can move the equipment. That's true. That's true. So they just need one of the two because they can move the equipment. Oh, you can sacrifice any creature. Never mind. It's not just goats. Sorry. I said the wrong thing there. Hmm. That hurts. That card's so good. Would cost seven mana if we only have two power things. A heck of a turn too. My worst nightmare is them having Black Lance Paragon.
Basically, need my opponent to not have any removal. Down to five. They still have the four cards in hand. But we got to clean those things up. Oh, come on. Ugh, that's not what I could afford. That was not what I could afford at all. Wow, just nothing? That's gotta be removal on top. Like that that has to just be removal on top. It's a close one. Two cards over there. It's a lot of basics. All right, they're down to five. Four. 
Them having frenzy drawing cards isn't that valuable. One little life. Ugh. They have their own murderous rider. So close. Uh, so close. Alright. I need these cards we I put back I need a, these cards I put on the bottom a long time ago. I need these cards back. Okay, I guess that's how we get these cards back, huh? Yeah, this this has been a really good game. This has definitely been a really good game. It's kind of nerve wracking. Are we gonna get there? Oh my gosh! Should we go to one? They could have like Bone Crusher Giant, and I die. Uh. Don't shock. Don't shock. Uh, noxious grass. They go back up to two. <sighs> Got there. Got there. GG's. And so, good thing... Oh, man, that was only game two. So, good thing that we didn't kill the Midnight Reaper first. We killed the other thing first to do that damage, and then the Midnight Reaper dealt that extra damage. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know why a, note, a night deck would have Bone Crusher Giant. They could have Shock. I don't know. They could just have. They could have had something that would have killed me. But who knows? Bone Crusher Giant's just pretty good. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Um, anyway, back to the game. Let's see. I think I think everything looks pretty good. I don't know if we saw anything that we really want to change. I could see, like, you know, we saw, like, multiple Noxious Grasps. And I guess they have the Black Knight also. Let's play a Veil of Summer. Yeah, let's, let's get him with a Veil of Summer. What? Anything else I want? Like, what else would I want to take out for another Veil of Summer? Does does the Smitten Swordmaster does that target? No, it's just each opponent loses X life. I don't know. Ugin takes out Frenzy, but yeah, maybe maybe that's slow. I mean, maybe it should just be the Great Henge. All right, we'll take out Ugin. Get another Veil of Summer in here. I don't know if Ugin's too expensive. Like, I saw there that game. Like, we, we can play pretty good defense. Like, the games are going to go a little longer. Just a little longer. Not super long. That all started whenever we turned fox color. So 
We got turn three beast. We may need to Legion's End first, though. Pretty aggressive smitten sword master. It's not a not necessarily a bad one. But that's what I was kind of thinking. I was kind of thinking they didn't have another land. That was probably a waste there. Ugh, definitely a waste. Grabbing Paradise Druid so that we get to play Garrick next turn. Nice, Ripper. This thing is menacing. We don't get to block it. Let's be blocked by two creatures. Need to get rid of this Crusader. Giving my opponent too many cards. The curse is no. more than I thought. <laughs> yep, that's what we got going on here. We're troll garring it up. Troll gari. That was a very good attack for me. I'm going to lead with this so we don't have to shock. I, do, I don't want to... Yeah, basically, I think I think I want uh, Garrick with Veil of Summer, but I don't really want to shock with this Swordmaster and everything over here. So I'm just going to get the troll out here. I love this attack. No. Make that attack. Boo. Watch out. These woods get awful dark. So if I minus and kill the this knight, then I get to attack with the troll, but then I just have like the two blockers for these two. 
Uh, I wish it, wish I would have minus first. All right, so they'll be able to draw some cards. No, not playing the event right now. I'm playing it tomorrow. I'm going to play Simic Wishes, the deck that we played the other day. We played on Thursday. I'm, I'm taking out a Forest and the Paradise Druid from the deck, though, for two Overgrown Tombs. Alright, so they got a lot of cards now because these Midnight Reapers. I think the event starts at the top of the hour, I think. Kazunado with the t with the tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Kazunado. I really appreciate that resub there. They're gonna be able to get an extra land and draw three cards. But two of their things are dead. All right, that that thing's a card. I played well around that thing earlier. I kind of forgot that thing was a card there. Good scry, good scry. That was... Yep. Could have blocked the doggy. The dogs attack and stuff though too. You know, like the dogs aren't worthless. Like they're the dogs are good. We will not fail. All right, so they're up to five cards in hand, but we're up to 13 life. Got a whole lot of creatures and everything now. <laughs> no, no Elder Spell. No Elder Spell. Ooh. They're looking over there. I kind of thought that might have been an Elder Spell there. Ugh. I'll try Stop. my luck elsewhere. My planeswalkers. Hmm. 
my poor planeswalkers. So they take two there, go down to eight, and that's lethal. Trollgari! Okay. I don't know the thing about this deck. It's just, it kind of, you know, looks like a pile, just like a, a you know, just a kind of like a random pile of cards but it just does so well it does so well it's just so many good cards you know like where are our bad cards you know we're playing murderous rider and and um questing beast and like some really good six mana planeswalkers and nissa and vraska and then just good removal spells and of course holding it all together is the troll yeah golgari rare binder Golgari Rare Binder. Yeah, it's green, black, good stuff. Guess I'm going to five. This is a kind of an unplayable six. Yeah, I guess we're going to five. Don't go to five too often. Wow. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. All right, unfortunately, Fable Passage is not an untapped land. Even though it's like our, our fourth mana source, but it's got to be a fourth land. Yep, that's, that's the plan. We're going to have to top deck pretty well. All right, so far, not so good. This looks like this could be Simic Flash also. Yeah, it looks like Simic Flash. Five card hand, probably pretty tough. I'm, I'm planning this here because I want this countered. So 
So that's why I played it there instead of anywhere else. I let them play, you know, like their third land and stuff like that. Like I, I just because I want questing beast to resolve, of course. So how good is your hand, opponent? Can you handle a couple of questing beasts or not? All right, Mozar. Have some fun at work. Hey, thanks for the reset too on, the, on your way out the door. Thanks, Mozar. The Golo Scourge, I think Ashiok is the card that I've really been having success with against Golos. Um, so yeah, if you're playing a blue or black deck, that's why I have like three Ashiok in all of my sideboards. At least three, maybe four, depending on the deck. What's your take on which deck can be consistent enough for this arena standard event? Um, I think that what my opponent's playing here, Simic Flash, is if I had to just recommend one specific deck, that'd be the deck that seems really powerful for this best of one format. I was getting bored anyway. Cool. All right, so bringing in some Veil of Summer, some Noxious Grafts to kill the wolves, because, of course, the wolf is the, the scariest card. I've not been having success recently with Duress. Like, they're, they just, so much of their deck is just creatures. There's not very many, like, actual hits for Duress. It's probably still good to play the card, though. I guess that card's actually good. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, you have a questing beast on your deck. Thoughts on Embercleave? I, I think the card's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, I haven't seen like a, a perfect Embercleave shell or anything yet but it's a really cool card all right i don't think i need to scry turn one here i'm gonna instead just start getting lands out of the deck yeah so immediately make it so that's you know that's six lands All right, we'll scry here. Wow. Now, I should probably fetch again. Fetching before scrying is always kind of good.
I haven't really seen Feather around at all. Yeah, so I kind of waste I kind of wasted my scry to the bottom. But still, all right, so that's 4 5 6 7 8 9. So nine lands are out. So there's only 13 other lands in the deck. No, 15. There's 15 lands in the deck because there's 24. Okay. So do I save the scry if I have once upon a time? Just please don't have a wolf. <sighs> That's what I get for using that noxious grasp a little early. Playing questing beast would have made it. Okay. That turns this thing into being a 2-2 instead of a 3-3, so it doesn't get to block Questing Beast now. I'll trade Murderous Rider for Frill Mystic. Basically, they, they have to have another wolf. So that's... It's unfortunate they had removal for Questing Beast, for sure. With the Aether Gust. They're going to need another wolf, though.
All right, no more wolf. That's a good sign. That's not a wolf. They can have all the blue cards they want. No wolf, no wolf. No, no, no. Blue card, blue card, blue card. We want to see blue. See true blue. Yeah. No wolf. Okay. Going to game three. That frilled mystic card is such a beating. They had a chance to trade their wolf for the Ceratops that, that, you know, that turned, they didn't. And I was able to kill the, the wolf. They had a chance to make that trade. All right, game number three. Uh, thanks, Jason. Welcome to the stream. Yep, I'm here. So, yeah, if you're kind of newer to the stream, I'm here every day from 3 to 10 Eastern. So we're just finishing up the stream kind of now. But, yeah, this is what I do every day. Uh, I got the, got the YouTube channel as well uh, where all the replays are. So if you want to see any of the, the replays. Um the replays though do not have the music on them of course so like there's there's no music on the youtube channel but that's okay and so if you're somebody that that's you know not a huge fan of the music or just want to play your own music you can watch the replays on youtube and play your own music there as well I do not rive last. No, this is like like I said. This is what I do every day. Is stream arena. Um. Yes, I think yes. So I'll I'll be starting early tomorrow, one o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, this just should be the thing. You listen to your brother play drums while you watch the vids. Nice. Yes, control. Yeah, yeah. The stream decker list is updated. Like this is this is the correct list right now that we're playing. So yeah, I'm planning on, on playing. Uh, for, yeah, starting at one o'clock tomorrow for the early Sunday matinee stream. <laughs> I watch only for the music. Yeah. And if you like... I mean, should I just trade here? Is this just a good trade for me? Patrol. Um, if you do like the, <clears throat> yeah, there you go, Frost Strike. If you do like the playlist, there's the link to the playlist right there. You, you know, exclamation point playlist always pulls it up. And so if you um, want to listen to the playlist while watching on YouTube, you can still do that. So yeah, basically, like the the 
throughout a longer game, the cutthroats just kind of keep growing and growing and become larger creatures. And so I just wanted to trade my 2-1 for it while it could trade. Because, you know, I need, I need the trophy for wolves. Um, or for, like, this thing. <clears throat> and so that's why I didn't really mind trading there. Hmm. I should have played the swamp. I should have played the swamp. Okay. So they got three power. <clears throat> I got five. They're at 13. I'm at 16. Check that 13 all. We did get, you know, like, like this other creature was going to be a 4-4. We did get that thing out of there. I played the the wolf there, or I played the troll there, so I could play beast and rider the next turn. But maybe that's just a mistake. Maybe I should just play beast. It's like troll's a better card to have in play than the beast is. I think. This is pretty bad. I'm gonna go down to five. I don't think my opponent should have played the Spectral Sailor there. It's, you know, I'm telling my opponent I have a, well, I guess I'm not necessarily telling them I have a removal spell, but I didn't play the Murderous Rider. So of course I, I had to <clears throat> had to kill the spectral sailor. Because otherwise they'd get to draw some a bunch of cards.
Come on, resolve. Yeah. All right, time to troll our opponent. That's 13. All right, if Okam adversary blocks that. Oh, well, that's really bad. Well, that, I guess, I guess I did open myself up to ambush her being a card. I like this attack for where they're at on the battlefield, but not against ambusher. That's just lethal. All right, well, I, that was a really bad attack against ambusher. But they have nine power. I'm at nine. I just... Yeah, it was a really bad attack against Ambusher. Basically, with without Ambusher, the, the adversary was, was basically going to have to block one of these two. Um, realistically, we weren't going to be taking lethal. But yeah, against Ambusher, that was obviously just a really bad attack there. I don't think that I don't think I don't think that card gains vigilance. No, it, it gains haste, trample, or reach. So no, like I you can't you can't vigilance a ceratops. It gains haste, trample, or reach. Yeah. GG's though. Where's Hawkeye? He can he'll show up. I'll just snap my snap my fingers. Hawkeye. Hey, there you are. Where are you at? Need your help. Okay. So three and one there. Good record, good record. I'm going to go ahead and, and end it here instead of playing a fifth match. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's 10 o'clock here. And, uh, you know, we'll play 19 matches on the day. I think that's that's good enough here. We'll take the 3-1 record with Trollgari. Had, had a lot of good games in there um but yeah so this this deck still performed well again so another good performance here with cholgari um the finale of eternity you know could could end up being something else still you know i like the card with nissa i like being able to kill multiple things with it um but, uh, yeah, I, I guess I, I could have not made that attack, but my opponent was in the driver's seat for sure with having the ambusher, so that game looked kind of bad for me. Um, so, all right. GG's. Uh, yeah, I was talking about um, the Simic Flash being a, a good good deck for the best of one challenge. Um, but, yeah, I liked, liked the deck here. Uh, I guess... So um, if you're watching the video on YouTube, of course, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But then also please let me know uh, how you like the deck, what what you think of like the, the different card choices. Um, if you're playing the deck at along at home, if you're if you're trying the deck out, you know, and you're playing it in events and ranked and stuff like that, let me know how it's going for you. And um, you know, if there's anything in particular you're struggling against, you know, how how do you like the finale of Eternity and the Ugin and the Liliana? Like, you know, like those three one ofs um, and, you know, even the Great Henge, like, could those be better cards and everything like that? You know, I, I like them. Like, I, there's a reason why I have them all in the deck. You know, I like them all, but, you know, let me know. All right. Um, but there we go. So, uh, yeah, leave leave some comments over there on the YouTube channel. I always like seeing the comments. But uh, for, 
but that's it for today. So thank you so much for watching some Golgari Troll, and I'll see you for the next video.